Hey there! Um, this is gonna be a video mostly unscripted about how I make videos and why I make them. Uh, I don't really want to give the impression to people that I'm well learned about the things I talk about or that I know much of anything. Um, I'm just a humble writing student who happens to uh, really enjoy delving deep into some really bizarre topics. Um, but basically, to cut a long story short, uh, most of my videos are just finding one or two articles or books or um, papers and that have an interesting idea and then applying that to something that I personally find interesting. So with the Arknights video I just made, that was mostly based around um, Johan Hoegland's uh, paper on pandemic horror. So that I want to discuss that in more detail today. Um, well, first, when I'm making a video, I try to find a subject like VTubers or Arknights. Um, obviously, the main subject of my channel is meant to be VTubers, uh, virtual YouTubers, but doesn't always go there, obviously. The main sort of thrust of my channel is that I want to get at ideas um, in subjects that don't really get talked about in this way. So. Virtual YouTubers and Arknights are these things that I find personally really interesting and that I am seeing these connections to concepts like celebrity and stigma um, that I feel like could get expanded upon. And it's not like I think that I'm contributing to any wider discussion in a meaningful way. Uh, I hope I am, but I, I'm not really uh, trying to do that. What I'm trying to do is make these ex sort of concepts accessible, make these kinds of topics uh, understandable, and sort of show how um, you don't have to read, you know, um, pages and pages of weird philosophy in order to get at these concepts. You can find v various themes in games like Arknights, um, and viewing these things as art forms and forms of expression and stuff like that. Um, so that's sort of how I find a subject, something that I want to discuss the themes of. And then I sort of try to find a part of it, um, like narrow in on a part of it that doesn't seem that well explored or doesn't really get the attention I think it deserves. Something, something maybe controversial or something that uh, people are confused about. Um, in my original first VTuber video, um, the uh, one about uh, virtual YouTubers and micro-celebrity. Um, that was basically an extension of my um, outrage and um, concern over various incidents that occurred with virtual YouTubers and, um, you know, uh, real-life information getting leaked. So, you know, when there's outrage about uh, a virtual YouTuber who is sort of seen as this idol you know i want to explore why do people think like that and what what's the reason behind that and uh that sort of that was the impetus for that um and then i sort of after that i try to think of like what makes that important what why is that specific part of it um important how do i connect that to existing writing and academic text and philosophy and stuff like that um, and a lot of that is um, things I've already read or, you know, taking some keywords and sort of Googling them and um, looking for sources. So if you want something on, say, celebrity, a lot of what you can do is Google some, Google the just celebrity or celebrity culture or idol culture, and you'll find that you can find these academic texts that even if you don't necessarily find what you're looking for in them, you can find texts that have dozens and dozens and dozens of sources, even Wikipedia, and you can use these sources and just go on this journey through a bunch of different texts, and it takes you to some interesting places that you wouldn't expect, and that's really how I approach it. That's, um, I think the, um, 
it can lead you down some interesting paths that bring you to an idea that maybe you didn't even start with. My Arcanite's video did not start with me thinking about stigma. That was, it was, it was a very, very long journey of reading and reading and reading and formulating like exactly what I want to talk about Arcanite's, what makes Arcanite so interesting to me. But yeah, after that, you end up having like a dozen or so sources that you've read and you're like, these have informed this overall like um, idea in my head because I don't really start with a thesis usually. Um, usually I have an idea of what I want to go for um, and a lot of my video does delve into you know some political ground but I don't I'm not trying to just go in there with a political statement I'm trying to see what I can draw out of it so a lot of my theses is just you know comes from my research um, and after that you sort of have this massive data and uh, research and information that you want to connect together and what I like to do and this is something that my friends have told me is quite annoying of me but I think it's fun is I like to connect it to seemingly unrelated things so I really like when I can find something that I'm already familiar with and connect those two things so in the VTuber video I made a connection to the Yogscast, right? It was weird, you know, I, I used the Yogscast as an example of, you know, uh, uh, the actor and the character, you know, um, working together. And I, I, helped, I sort of did that to help ground my discussion of Brecht in something I'm more familiar with. I'm not sure if that's helpful, but that's what I do so um, take from that what you will and after that's all said and done you know I have this big ass script uh, that I have to work with and a lot of the time I have to cut out a lot of parts of it so I'll write maybe 10 or so pages of um, you know references to these texts talking about various concepts and then i sort of think okay what can i take out of this what isn't important what what is the main theme of this and what doesn't contribute to that and once you've cut down the fat um, i generally get something about 30 minutes long and uh, that's what i run with uh, and hopefully by the end of this process you know i have a coherent video that also relays a theme uh, gives a message at the end because I do want to have calls to action in my videos um, and that's sort of the approach I take to making videos and obviously this changes from it's gonna change from time to time you know I'm currently writing the script for another video and that approach is might be slightly different from how I've done it before uh, but I just wanted to make this uh, just in case someone uh, was interested in how I make videos or why I'm making them and hopefully if you want to make your own video about Ark Knights or virtual YouTubers you can uh, adopt some of my advice or learn from my mistakes and uh, then make an even better video than I have which wouldn't be very hard my videos aren't very good um, at any rate I hope that this video was at least helpful to some people and entertaining to others other than that i hope you all have a wonderful day and that you enjoyed my gameplay of apex legends in the background don't be too hard on me <laughs> i suck at this all right uh, see you later <laughs>